Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to adjust throttle position sensor. This is going to work for any multi-point B or D series engines. First off, you're going to need a multimeter and you also need to figure out a way to be able to move the throttle position sensor while it's on the throttle body. Now looking at a couple different throttle bodies, this one has the little star hex so if you have the tool you could easily remove that one. This one is still an OEM rivet which makes it really difficult to remove. You could get a Dremel and grind two small slits into this and then get it off with the screwdriver. And some if they've been replaced before depend on the hardware they used. Uh, make it easier to get off. I used two screws so mine is a lot easier to get removed and you don't need to remove it completely we just need to get it loose that way we can adjust and tilt the throttle body I'm sorry the throttle position sensor back and forth to get the appropriate readings now I wanted to show you just as an example to get the throttle position sensor loose since a lot of you are going to encounter throttle position sensors that are on with these rivets I took my Dremel you're going to need one that has the drill bit, the little, uh, I mean the grinding bit, which you can cut. And you just put two little slits into the rivets. That way, let me try to break them loose. They're on pretty tight. There we go. And then we want to do the second one. The second one, I'm having, a, having difficulty getting it off. So I'm going to use the impact driver. Okay, that worked. I was able to get that one spun. It moved a little bit. There we go, that one's good. Now after having this, these, I left them on but loosened them. The reason we wanna do that is you need to be able to move the TPS back and forth. That's where we're gonna get our appropriate readings. Okay, we're gonna test for uh, power and of course to adjust the actual TPS So go ahead and put your key into the second position accessory position To make things easier for myself when using the multimeter I created this it has an old plug that connects to the throttle position sensor and I just added the wires and I plug these in to the old part of the plug that way it allows me to connect my leads to each individual wire without having to splice the wire on the original wiring harness for the car. You do not need to do this. I did it just because I've tested plenty of other TPS sensors in the past and it makes it a lot easier now getting to it and completing the job for me. Now for the sake of demonstrating this on video for you, I have the accessory position on, the car is now turned on, and I have that extra throttle body laid out, but I have my wiring uh, from the throttle position sensor going to this throttle body so I can show you. First we're going to check for volt. So make sure you have your multimeter to the volt setting. Put your black lead on the negative ground. and. The red lead is going to go to the yellow wire. And we should be right around 5 volts. Exactly. If I remove the lead, it drops back down, put it back to the negative. 5 volts. Now we're going to check the throttle position sensor reading. Leave your black lead on the negative. Your red is going to go to the red wire. So the throttle position sensor is obviously in the closed position which is leaving us at a 0.41 and 
you'll see, watch as it increases. It's at 4.34 wide open, and it's at 0.41. Now, the reason why we left it loose is when you move, see how this adjustment by sliding the TPS up and down? 0.59 is obviously too much, so you need to find that middle ground. And it can be just a hair. We'll leave it there and see how that works. And then wide open, 4.42, so it's a little short there, 0.49. But that gives you a general idea, that's how you're gonna do that. You're gonna just slide your TPS back and forth so you can find the 0.5 closed and 4.5 as close to possible as 4.5, it may not be perfect. And with your, your throttle position sensor fully closed, we're shooting at a 0 0.50 volts, and fully open, we're shooting at 4.5. And lastly, if you're working with a dual point manifold, this is the 88-91 Civic and CRX DX, DX and LX models, even the standard four-speed model, the throttle position sensor is going to be uh, completely opposite. And that also means the two outside wires are going to be reversed, which uh, you can test those appropriately if you still want to test your TPS on a dual point fuel injected model. I wasn't having any issues with my TPS. I just wanted to make sure I had it adjusted since I had never done so after I got the B20 engine installed.